we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Beginning this intro, we're going to start towards the back of the dance floor. You're going to hear the music start before you actually take your first step. And just like with all your dance steps, leader's gonna start left and follower starts right. So leader, you wanna start on the left-hand side of your follower. You can go ahead and offer your right hand. Follower is gonna take it with the left hand. And then as we hear the music start, we're gonna wait for two counts. So we're gonna hear the first strum of the guitar. We're gonna wait one, two, and then we are going to take a step on three, and then another step on four. So, Timing wise, this will follow your rumba timing of slow, quick, quick, slow. So when we start the dance, that's gonna be on a slow. We wait for the one, two, so we go slow, and then we go quick, quick, slow. So again, three steps on that quick, quick, slow. Then we're going to go quick forward and quick out to the side. Let's do this one more time from a different angle with counts instead of the slow, quick, quick, slow. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. Once we get into that side-by-side -side position, we are going to be doing a double turn for the follower rolling into our dance position and ready for our pattern one. So leader, you should have your weight now on your left foot, follower weight on the right foot, and you are going to bring your follower around, rolling your follower in. So follower, I'm starting with my left foot. I'm going to go left right, left, right. And at this point, I should be facing my leader. Leader's going to offer the left hand. I'm gonna take it with my right hand, continuing to turn right, left, right, left, and getting into our dance frame. So leader, your footwork doesn't really change at all. You're just sort of staying in place. You can shift your weight if you need to, to adjust as your follower is coming through. What you mostly wanna be thinking about is your arms, making sure that you bring your follower in really close to you. So make sure to not let go with that right hand until you absolutely have to. And then bringing that left hand up, almost like you're shielding the sun from your eyes to bring that uh, hand around and get into frame. This is going to be a continuous counterclockwise motion. So with your right hand, you're doing a counterclockwise motion when you pick up with your left hand, still counterclockwise. For my follower, I'm gonna do this footwork one more time for you facing the back. So follower, starting on that left foot, I'm going left, right, left. When I step on my right foot, I should be facing my leader, right, left, right, and left. The direction that I started facing, I started facing the wall, I end up facing the camera. So whichever direction you start, you're going to be facing the opposite direction. Let your leader help you through this. You can also spot your leader to make sure that you are staying on track instead of kind of turning all over the place. And the last recommendation I have is really small steps. The smaller your steps, the more controlled it's going to be. And again, looking for your leader, trying to find your leader in the space, and keeping your steps really small is going to help this stay nice and controlled. We're gonna bring our partner back and we are going to do this entire thing for you from a different angle. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, step out eight, turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. And we're ready to start our pattern one, which we'll go ahead and demonstrate and then break down.